primary mission is to detect and monitor changes to the seafloor. NOAA's newest ship, the Hassler, has some of the most sophisticated equipment available to collect that data. And Ted and your sides, Art Kahn, spent the day on board to see how this technology guides and protects mariners. The scientific research being done aboard the Hassler will have some very practical applications. Coming up. The fish being deployed into the water is actually a side scanning sonar device that enables the team of scientists and NOAA officers to make a detailed survey of the sea floor. The side scan is very important because it gives us a very high resolution picture of the seabed. It allows us to clearly see obstructions and wrecks. And in shallow water, it's capable of scanning a very wide area of the sea floor. This data, along with depth readings from multi-beam sonar devices, is used by NOAA to produce maps and charts to guide merchant vessels transiting the port of Hampton Roads. The port is a huge economic engine for the area, so we want to make sure, sure those container ships can come in fully loaded and know exactly how much water they have underneath uh, their hulls. City 302. Keeping the maps and charts up to date is a constant process because, like the crew of the Hassler, the seafloor is constantly on the move. Uh, the outflow from rivers or storms can move the sand and mud in the area to the approaches to the Chesapeake Bay. Occasionally we'll see things like uh, uh, you know, wrecks, a ship could go down, or a container could fall off a ship and block the channel. The technology aboard the Hassler enables scientists to find and record changes to the seafloor in a fraction of the time this process used to require. Well, it used to take uh, mariners with a sounding line. It would take them uh, two minutes to do one sounding, and now we're doing uh, 1,028, about 20 times a second. In fact, the Hassler and her crew are gathering more data than was ever possible. In Norfolk, Art Khan, 10 on your side.